Nope. We don't need that many coconuts. Coffee, stay. One of the first places we explored in the Bahamas was the Abacos. In the upper Abacos, just north of Green Turtle Key, is an island called Manjack Key, Nunjack Key, or Munjack Key, depending on who you speak to. For cruisers, there are three anchorages available in Manjack. The North Anchorage, the Coconut Beach Anchorage, and Manjack South Anchorage. When we first arrived at Manjack, we stayed at the North Anchorage, but due to weather, we escaped to Coconut Beach, and then after that, the South Anchorage, where we spent the majority of our time. Key itself is really cool. It has a series of inland streams and waterways that run through mangroves from the center of the island out to the ocean. And here, on the reef south Manjack, on the ocean side, there is some of the best spearfishing we've experienced since coming to the Bahamas. There is also some excellent snorkeling off nearby Crab Key, Rat Key, as well as an excellent beach owned by a retired cruising couple who welcome visitors to their shores every year. to feed the rays, so the second you come in the water, they think that uh, they're going to get fed. John Manjack Key, and it is beautiful. Behind us is mangroves, which we're gonna go explore now. I've got my kayak, Aaron and coffee, get the dinghy. You might do a little bit of fishing, and I'm gonna do some exploring. 
Aaron didn't want to come on the two person kayak with me, so he's taking me into the mangroves and he's going to go fishing. This place is pretty cool. This is not peace on earth. I don't know what is. You got it or he got yeah, it? I got it. Nice! Yeah, Did you learn a lot? Day, Wait, can you get this line? I'm videotaping you. Oh, what? Did you get a lot? Did you learn a lot? Yeah. Do you only I, get one grouper? I wasted a lobster though. What do you mean? It was a big lobster and I shot it. I missed. It came out again. I shot it again. I stuck it. But it, it stuck like in his antenna and he backed out so I pulled out his antenna. Oh. And then he was gone forever. You guys only got one? No, he got he got two massive. He got one giant hogfish and one giant I forget what it was called. Cool. And then I shot another one, but it was a chub. Oh. And I like, you know this shit. Okay. Where's the grouper? So we're gonna go over there. I gotta change and we'll head over there in like 20 minutes. And we'll go to learn how to fillet it and stuff. Okay. And then he's gonna cook it up right then or I don't know. Thanks okay. for your help. You're welcome. Love you. Yeah, you can see I've got more of the, I got more of those things. So. Yeah, so you can kind of feel their skull in there. Okay. You just kind of go, kind of have to angle in. I've got a lot of scales. Okay. Let me go along the spine. Yep, just under the skin. Okay. Kind of pull the knife kind of at the down angle, angle so you're just scraping along the, the spine, the, the rib cage, sort of. Nice. So, hogfish is good eating, right? Uh, this is the best fish eat, best eating fish ever. I go that far and then I leave the, see they eat little, see the shells, they eat little uh, oh, yeah. crustaceans. 
and then I flip over and do the other side because if you take the one fillet off, then the fish is going to concave and it makes it hard to okay. harder. So he felt where the skull is, and then he's cutting just on the outside of it. I've seen that hammerhead here before. But we might get peaches, the tiger shark. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> now you said I... the cod, it wasn't even fun. They're just dumb. They just swim right up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the mouth on that thing. That's crazy. Those yeah. little teeth. Yeah. Crunching up little crustaceans. Yeah. There she comes. Whoa. Yeah. Holy Whoa. crap. <laughs> All right, I think. Yeah, don't film me anymore. We'll film All back. Right. There she comes. God, it's just beautiful. Pretty fish. So that's a tiger shark? Yep. It's your stripes. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Woohoo! Oh, you got it. There you go. It's yours now. Come back for more later. Yeah, she got no, she got pulled it off. He is both hunter and gatherer. Coconut! Get in there, I'm thirsty. We need something more sturdy than a plastic lid. I'm in love with the cocoa. Coffee thinks it's a ball. Nobody. So, uh, I got the husk off. Usually that, that's pretty difficult. That one wasn't so bad. I just kind of had to chop off all the green stuff and then peel off the husk. This is the hard part because I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to do it. So I sawed around where I want to hit with a hammer and right now I'm just going to hope for the best. Don't do it on there. Do it where though? In here where it's actually hard. Oh, Don't drink it all. God damn, I see that. Want some? Yeah. We're very dehydrated, so this is going to be perfect. Ooh. Good to hear you. Yeah, and I can I can try and get that open for you now, and it'll be easier to, all right or not, just ignore me. How's it taste? You don't like it? It doesn't taste strong like coconut, which is good because I don't like strong coconut. Good job, baby. Man, yeah, it tastes good. That's super fresh. Wow! I'm gonna have to go for a little swim. It's great, coconut.